Hi guys, today I want to show you how I actually put on my jewelry with my long nails. I have um, a lobster claw clasp here and I get asked how do I do a lot of things with my nails and this is going to show you how and show you a little trick that I do when I'm putting on my jewelry. So first of all, this is what the lobster claw looks like. What I do is I take it and I put it put my nail on the on the hook leaving me to open it and close it. Okay, so now you figure how am I going to do this? It's always going to be slipping off. I can't grab it. So, I decided to take a brush that I have you could use anything that's a stick, anything long, even a pencil, pen, whatever you have, anything that's long enough, even a chopstick, whatever you have available to you. I personally use this brush because it's a rubber handle. This brush is actually um, from Cricut and uh, if you're interested in brushes, these are excellent for shorter hair, bangs, and stuff like that. Um, so what I do is I'm going to try and get this in here so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> I grab, it's not easy to show you on camera, but what I tend to do is I just grab the end of the bracelet with the brush there. I come around. and I hook it in. Holding the brush here, it just, see what I do? Hold the brush like this, I hold it like that, and it just holds the end in place for me, so when I go to put it on, it doesn't wobble around and I can get it, and to take it off, I just open the claw, the, the lobster claw again and just simply remove it. Well, I hope that's been helpful for you and you try it at home. If you haven't uh, thought about it, I'm going to put it back on. And like I said, yeah, just anything that's straight that you can hold in your hand, grab the end. What I didn't do was I didn't open this first, so always always have your lobster claw open first, then grab the end. Oops. It'll happen. My problem is I'm trying to keep it where I can keep it in the camera. But it works all the time. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful, informative, and it explains how to do your own lobster claws with long nails. Thank you for watching.